today I hope you are doing great so that you can learn a lot from our lesson before we start I have something for you to answer this is going to be very easy for you do you still remember our previous lesson yes that is correct our previous lesson about the sewing tools so let's get started here is our first activity the title of this activity is i don't belong here directions choose the sewing tool or tools which do not belong in each group you are going to see groups of sewing tools which we have discussed in our previous lesson. Then, tell me which of the sewing tools in each group should not belong there. It could be one or two sewing tools which should not belong in each group. Did you understand what you're going to do? If yes, let's get started. Which of the following are not measuring tools look closely hmm which one are you sure with your answers let's find out very good this tracing wheel should not belong here what else correct this Leather scissors should not belong here. Good job! Let's proceed. Pin cushion. Hand needles. Sewing machine needles. Pins. Dressmakers carbon papers. Thimble. Which one should not belong in this group? The answer is very good. The dressmaker's carbon papers should not belong in the painting and sewing tools. Bravo! Which are not marking tools? What are your answers? The first one is That is correct. The first one is the rotary cutter. What's the other one? Very good. The seam gauge doesn't belong here. Perfect answers. Which of them do not belong in this group of cutting tools? Thread clippers, tape measure, leather shears, bent handled 
dressmaker's shears, sim ripper, ruler. And the answers are, that is correct because tape measure is a measuring tool. The next one is, very good, the ruler. Why? Excellent, because ruler is also a measuring tool. Good job! I am very happy that you recognized which of the tools do not belong in each group. Let us now proceed with your next task. Our next task is also very simple because this is just true versus false. And here is our directions. Analyze the statements carefully. Tell whether it is true or false. Is that clear? Are you sure? So let's start. Sewing cutting tools can be used for other household tasks. True or false. Very good. It is false because sewing cutting tools should not be used for other household tasks. Why? Please write your answer in your group's GC. The skillful use of the sewing tools will help take body measurement and draft pattern with accuracy and speed. True or false? And the answer is true. You are correct because the skillful use of the sewing tools will help take body measurement and draft pattern with accuracy and speed. Good job, guys! I am very glad that you still remembered our previous lesson. That means we can move on to our new one. Directions. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the word defined. If it will be difficult for you to get the correct word, I will give you another clue. You have 30 seconds for each word. Good luck! This is the first one. The letters are C, D, I, O, S, M, E, T. Relating to the running of a house, or to family relations. Relating to the running of a home or to family relations is domestic. Very good, you got the right answer. Here is our second word, and the letters are B, K, A, C, R, A, and T. What is the word? Refers to a series of stitches used to reinforce areas of garments that may be subject to stress or additional wear. <laughs> What is the word? That is the correct answer. It is Bartak. 
an unfinished, rough, or undecorated edge as at the margin of a piece of textile. This is our third word. And the letters are W, A, R, space, S, E, G, E, D. And the answer is Bravo! Raw edges is the answer. The vertical line that travels down the interior of the pant. It goes up the crotch on the inside of the leg. Here are the letters. M, A, E, S, N, I. What is the word? And the word is... That is correct. The word is insane. Here is our last word. And the letters are T O U M E A S. This, on the other hand, is the vertical line that travels down the exterior of the pant. It goes all the way up to the waist. And the answer is Got it right. It is outseam. Look at this illustration of inseam and outseam. Is this clear? So now you are familiar with inseam and outseam. Excellent! I am glad that you were able to answer that activity. So let's proceed. Classification of sewing machine based on machine type. Why is it essential or important to select the sewing machine you will use? Well-selected sewing machine is essential for achieving good results. It should be used correctly in accordance with the job requirements. Are you familiar with this sewing machine in the picture? How many of you have this type of sewing machine at home? I am very glad that you are very familiar with this type of sewing machine because you have seen this and some of you have used this at home. Class, we call this type of sewing machine Lock stitch sewing machine. What is lock stitch sewing machine? Yes, Zara, what have you read about lock stitch sewing machine? Lock stitch sewing machine. This is usually used in homes and sometimes in school and also called domestic sewing machine. It is run by foot and may be also converted to electric power machine. How about you, Richter? Lock stitch sewing machine. This is usually used in home and sometimes in school. And this is also called domestic sewing machine. It is run by foot and may also be converted to electric power machine. Thank you very much, Zara and Richter, for sharing with us what you have read about lock stitch sewing machine. Keep it up. Lock stitch sewing machine is also called domestic sewing machine because it is usually used at home. 
you can use this machine even without electric power because it is manually operated and ran by foot. Nowadays, this is converted to electrically powered machine. This is through the attachment of this device. Did you understand what lock stitch sewing machine is? If yes, let us move on to the next type of sewing machine. This is our second type of sewing machine. Is this familiar to you? Yes, I know. Because we are from Binangonan, we are familiar with this type of sewing machine. According to statistics, sewing through subcontract is one of the sources of income of the households in Binangonan. And our number two type of sewing machine is called... That is correct! It is high-speed lock-stitch sewing machine. James, what have you read about high-speed lock-stitch sewing machine? Number two, high-speed lock stitch sewing machine. This is sometimes called straight stitching machine or industrial sewing machine. It has automatic lubrication, is used by tailors and dressmakers. That is correct, James. High-speed lock stitch sewing machine is also called straight stitching machine or industrial sewing machine. And you are also correct. That high speed lock stitch sewing machine has automatic lubrication. You know what that is? I'll explain to you in the next slides. So, ito yung uh, thread na nag lubricate, nag self lubricate or automatic lubricate sa high speed lock stitch sewing machine. Ang langis na mula rito, inihigup nito, papunta rito. Ito ah, papunta rito, ito, papunta rito, papunta na rito siya sa tali, ito, tali na ito, papunta niya para hindi manigas, hindi manigas yung, hindi manigas yung, makina sa kalawang. These video clips showed us how automatic lubrication happens in high-speed lock stitch sewing machine and also the importance of it to the mechanism of the machine. Special thanks to my very supportive husband for the video clips. So class, let us proceed now to our next type of sewing machine. Are you familiar with this? Very good! You are correct! This is the over-edging machine. Lindsay, what can you say about this machine? What do other companies call this and what is the function of this machine? Over-edging machine. Other companies call it small machine. It finishes the raw edges of the pattern for construction. Very good, Lindsay! Other companies call over-edging machine as small machine. And this is used to finish raw edges of the fabric or pattern to avoid raveling of the edges. Upang may iwasan ang paghimulmol ng tela na maaaring makasira rito, Ginagamitan ito ng over-edging machine. Maraming klase ang over-edging machine. We have three threaded edging machine like this one in the picture. There is also four threaded over-edging machine like what we have here in the next picture. This one is a five-threaded over-edging machine. 
The next video clips class will show you how over edging machine can help clean and protect the edges of the fabric. Alright, so ito yung raw edge ng tela. So para maganda ang itsura nito at para malinis, papadaanan ito sa edging machine. So ang so ang edging machine na to ay 4 threads. Ayan, 4 threads sewing machine yan. Okay, so tingnan natin. Yan. Okay, so wala na siyang rough edges. Malinis na both sides. So class, nakita nyo kung paano tinanggal ng over edging machine yung rough edges ng tela. Ang next machine naman natin ang bahalang maglagay ng design or decoration sa ating mga tela. Ano kayang sewing machine ito? Yes, Diane? Embroidery machine. This is used for making fancy stitches and in making different kinds of embroidery stitches on fabric for the barong Tagalog, pillowcase, linen, and other novelty items. Very good, Diane! This is the embroidery machine. This embroidery machine is used in making or stitching fancy and embroidery stitches on fabrics. Mas napapabilis na embroidery machine ang pagbuburda sa tela. And we can find embroidered stitches on barong Tagalog, pillowcases, linens, and other novelty items. These are some examples of pictures showing embroidery machine. Next, I will show you pictures of products designed and embroidered by this embroidery machine. We have Barong Tagalog. Pillow cases embroidered by embroidery machine. Bed covers, blankets, or linens designed with the use of embroidery machine. Novelty items made special with embroidered stitches. Embroidery stitches using embroidery machine can enhance the design of garments. On the other hand, there is also this accessory that can add design to garments. Yes, it can make a garment more attractive. And aside from that, it plays a big role in the pocket of a garment. Yes, Ishime, what machine can help a sewer in making buttonholes? Number five, button holder machine. This is used in making buttonholes on garments. That is correct, Ishi. Very good. This is the button holder machine. And you're correct that this is used in making buttonholes on garments. So making buttonholes would be very easy using this machine. Our next machine are what we have in the pictures. Are you familiar with them? If not, two of your classmates will tell us about these machines. James, what do you call this machine and where is it used? Button attachment machine. This is used in attaching buttons to the garments. How about you, Shella? Button attachment machine. This is used in attaching buttons to the garments. Bravo, James and Shella. You are both correct. This is button attachment machine. And this is used in attaching buttons on garments. So, attaching buttons on garments will be very easy using this machine. Class, 
look at the needles in this machine. How many are they? That is correct. There are two needles in this type of machine. What do you call this machine? Yes, Chris Miguel. Number seven, double needle machine. This is used in the construction of the different kinds of clothing, especially for the in seam, out seam, and side seam. How about you, Stephen? Number seven, double needle machine. This is used in the construction of the different kinds of clothing, especially for the in seam, out seam, and side seam. Thank you very much, guys, for your participation. Both of you are correct. This is the double needle machine. This is called double needle because it uses two needles sewing at the same time. And double needle is best when sewing in seam, out seam, and side seam. In the next video clip, I will show you how double needle machine flattens the waistband of a short pants. So, ito yung uh, pinasadahan ng or tinahin ng double needle sewing machine. Again, special thanks to my husband for that video clip. Thank you very much. Class, our last type of sewing machine makes our favorite maong jeans more durable. Let us hear it from John RV this type of machine and its function bar taking machine this is used in reinforcing the opening and closing of pockets and plackets of garments thank you john rv so this one is the bar tucking machine and according to him this adds strength to plackets pockets of maong pants or jeans dahil ang pocket or bulsa at plaket katulad ng zipper part ng jeans ay laging hinahawakan kaya ito ang mas madalas masira kaya nilalagyan ng bar tax na mas madaling na ilalagay sa tulong ng bar tucking machine this picture shows the bar tax reinforced on the pockets of maong jeans to make it more durable. Class, did you understand our lesson? Are you sure? To find out if you really do, let us have this activity. The title of this activity is Picture Me Out. I will show you a picture I will give you four options where you can find the correct answer. I will also give you statements that will help you picture out the answer. Is that clear? If yes, let us start. If you want to reinforce or make the opening and closing of pockets and plackets stronger, like that of a maong jeans. Bar tucking machine, button holder machine, double needle machine, button attachment machine. What is in the picture? That is correct. It is bar tucking machine.
If you want to attach buttons to long sleeve polo shirt, easier and faster. Bar tacking machine. Button holder machine. Double needle machine. Button attachment machine. Picture it out. What is the answer? That is correct. Indeed, it is the button attachment machine. Very good. It looks like that one is very easy for you. How about trying to answer this question? Why do you need to know the different types of sewing machines based on their uses? Please type your answers to your groups, GC. And you have five minutes to do that. Good job, guys! Since you understood our lesson, kindly get one fourth sheet of paper and try to answer these five item quiz. Directions. Read and analyze the questions that follow. Write only the letter of the correct answer. You have five minutes to finish the task. Number one. What sewing machine is used in reinforcing the opening and closing of pockets and plockets of garments? Is it A. Bar tacking machine Letter B. Double needle machine, letter C, embroidery machine, or letter D, over edging machine. What is the correct answer? Number two, what sewing machine is ran by foot and may also be converted by electric power machine? Is it letter A, button holder machine, letter B, double needle machine, letter C, lock stitch sewing machine, or letter D, high speed lock stitch sewing machine? What is the correct answer? Number three, which type of over edging machine is in the picture? Letter A, three threaded. Letter B, four threaded. Letter C, five threaded. And letter D, six threaded. What is the answer? Number four. Why is it essential to select the sewing machine to use? A. To get expensive machines. Letter B. To achieve good quality results. Letter C. To acquire more experiences with machines. Or letter D. To make sure to purchase the cheapest sewing machine. What is the answer? Number 5. The last question. Why is it important? For you to know the different types of sewing machine. Letter A. To be familiar with their uses. Letter B. To be familiar with their costs. Letter C. To be familiar with their brands. Or letter D. To be familiar with their durability. What is the answer? <laughs> Time is up, guys! Let us find out if your answers are correct. 1. A 2. Letter C 3. Letter B 4. Is also letter B and number five is letter A. This is 
is your last activity. You are going to write what you understood and what you realized in our lesson in the types of sewing machine and their uses. Write it on the activity sheet I gave you and make sure to submit it in the assigned schedule. I hope you understood our lesson and I hope you realized how important it is to know the different types of sewing machines based on their uses. Bye class! See you later!